Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be quick. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to share my screen. I prepared a, a few slides. Um, and um, yeah, so I'm here uh, today um, to... Um, sorry, can you see my screen? Yes, we can, yeah, we can. Okay, great. Um, so uh, I'm here today to uh, present uh, the MINT project, which was also an AMIF-funded uh, project. Uh, MINT stands for Mentoring for Integration of Third Country National Children uh, Affected by Migration. Um, this project was uh, a 26-month-long uh, project. Um, I mean, originally we planned to have a two-year two project, but because of the pandemic, uh, we had to request a two, two months uh, extension, which was uh, approved by the EC, luckily. Uh, so we ended the project in February this year. Uh, and the project team behind, behind MINT consisted of uh, five organizations. Um, the Organization for Aid to Refugees in the Czech Republic, Ocelania Foundation in Poland, Slovene Philanthropy, uh, Terdezom Romania. And uh, the project was led and coordinated by Terdezom Hungary. Uh, and uh, the overall objective of the project was to um, support and facilitate the integration process of newly arrived migrant children, enhance their social relations and empower them, but not just them, but also local uh, youth volunteers, uh, mentors uh, as well in the four project countries through this uh, replicable peer-to-peer uh, -peer, uh, mentoring program and also through other activities such as language courses, child-led uh, awareness raising and uh, advocacy activities um, as well. Um, quickly, um, so, so the main um, activity in the project was obviously this peer-to-peer uh, -peer mentoring program, um, which um, um, in which we organized two nine-month-long mentoring cycles. Um, so project partners uh, in their respective countries uh, recruited um, newly arrived migrant children uh, and we actually managed to reach more than 130 children uh, during the project period. Uh, and they also recruited local youth volunteers. Um, in this regard, we reached more than, 100 and, uh, more than 110 um, um, volunteers in the four project countries. Um, and um, what I can say about the background of the, of the volunteers, um, they were mostly um, girls, uh, overwhelmingly girls. Um, and um, between the age of 16 and 23, uh, mostly they were university students. Some of them had also um, migration background as well. So some of them were migrants or some of them had family members who, who migrated to that country uh, a few generations before. And that's why they decided to join the, uh, the project. And uh, so these, we, we put together uh, the, uh, the children and the volunteers and these mentoring pairs um, were meeting regularly, individually, and project partners also organized um, frequently uh, group meetings, either uh, in person or uh, online um, for, for, the, for the second um, year of the project. We had to move most of the activities to the online space, obviously. And the main output of the project um, is this mentoring methodological framework document, which is a very practical guide on how to build a mentoring program targeting uh, migrant uh, children and local youth to build, um, build bridges between uh, the migrant communities and the local host communities. Um, so this uh, document uh, was um, revised at the end of the project and it now includes many um, first-hand experience and um, many uh, practical uh, tips and guidance uh, which was collected um, from, from project partners, from the children, from the volunteers and from, from families um, as well. 
And besides the mentoring program, we also organized um, language learning uh, courses and provided access to uh, free access to language learning apps. And um, another important element uh, of the mentoring program was these uh, child-led advocacy initiatives. So children and uh, local youth work together to uh, produce um, uh, advocacy videos on topics um, of their uh, own um, um, ideas and also local events for their peers, for the teachers. And they also actively been, uh, and they were also actively involved uh, in the national advocacy conferences and also at, uh, at the final dissemination event, we have invited 10 uh, mentors and mentees uh, and they could share their experience um, in Mint. Um, so I think that was it because I think I had five minutes or so. Uh, <laughs> uh, so this, these were the main achievements and the main elements of our project. If you have any questions uh, about the project, uh, do not hesitate to contact me. You can see my um, uh, contact um, details uh, on the slide. And um, yeah, and I'm very looking forward to hear about uh, the other uh, projects and then later discuss uh, the, the topic of uh, volunteering. So thank you very much.